Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be looking at the Pretty Rich palette from Too Faced. So it's shaped like a jewelry box, so it's a little cute. It does make it a little bit bulky, right? But it's definitely one to kind of leave out, put on display as a palette. Uh, you get a mirror. I do kind of wish the mirror was a little bit bigger because I feel like I'd like it kind of to be that full size. You can still see your face in it, so it's not too bad and things like that. Um, you get 16 shadows in it, um, and each row is set up to be the looks that you can do. So for some of them, you might want like this bottom row, you don't really have any kind of transition color necessarily, but you have two different ones in there. So looking at those colors, so kind of like these are their shimmery shades, are like glitter shades that kind of make them something different. Um, you have um, diamonds for breakfast, uh, diamond glitterati is that pinky one. Then you get a gold one that's like fluent in diamonds and then diamond life so they'll have diamond in their names that are like those glitter self-adhesive self-adhesive yeah something along those uh glitters where <sighs> they're not really gonna move i have it on my lids right now um there's like a little bit of a transfer that got on top because i have hooded eyes and whatnot um, but it's like not bad, not all over the place. So I do find it kind of similar to like the Stila apply and the effect that you get without it kind of getting everywhere. So it makes it maybe like if you like the look of these, uh, they're glitter ones, um, but find the application a little hard, then I think uh, the shadow version would work well for you. So going into those colors, again, we have that uh, Diamonds for Breakfast. It's designer. Fancy that. Um, filthy Rich. Um, clutch Your Pearls, which is kind of a iridescent pink. Uh, Princess Cut. And then that glitter shade again. Uh, Diamond Glitterati. Uh, highly Selective. Uh, would be this one and then uh, fluent in diamonds it's cashmere um, don't care it at all uh, and like carrot as in the cut of carrots not not the vegetable but the diamond carrot <laughs> um, and then that brown shade is oh that's rich um, then we have Cool Under Pressure, which is this black shade with kind of silver in it. Uh, silver Spoon. Uh, set the Jewel Tones. And then Diamond Life. So I kind of had some on my finger or like another color. So you can definitely put this one more over top. So I think that diamond life which is really that silvery one you'd want to put over top of a color right so this one kind of put over top of a color because it's not really going to give you that much um, but the other ones you can kind of wear without i think like um reviewing uh the product so i'll get into how i created this look here so i'm gonna try uh a look with that first row so I'm gonna go into fancy that with a nice big fluffy brush and blend it into my crease I'm just gonna go in with kind of that design um, it's designer and just kind of buff. And I'm just also just with my finger apply that so the glitter kind of has 
a white base because my skin's not white enough. And we're gonna do diamonds for breakfast. really like patting it on a little tap 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 and then just using my finger I'm gonna go into filthy rich and put that on my outer corner Uh, I'm going to blend fancy that on my lower lash line. Taking kind of a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to go into, oh, that's rich. Just to highlight my outer corner. So I'm almost doing like a line. Going in with my Big Monsieur Mascara, I'm just going to coat my lashes. So I think it's like nice and glittery, I think you can really like pretty easy to use that row. I'll kind of do the other looks and see how well this lasts throughout the day. So after creating this look um, and wearing it for the day, I do feel like it's lasted pretty well. The colors were easy to blend and uh, like I went with kind of like your basic ones that aren't too hard to kind of mess up and whatnot. But I do think like it's a really simple palette of like colors that aren't like different. What's different is those glitters. So if you don't want to wear glitter on your eyes, don't get this palette. It's not going to be for you. If you like those Stila, because like I like the look of these, but I find them like maybe a little difficult to use because you have to wait for it to dry and then you touch somewhere and you're like, oh, okay, it's just going to stay there now. Like I find these ones are a little bit easier to manage with. Um, if you got the new nudes palette where they have kind of some of these pinky glitters, you're just kind of getting more of a range of those different shades because in the Huda Beauty, uh, new nudes, they kind of have like two different pinky, uh, ones. So like if you find you're not really going to use the glitter part, then I don't think this palette is worth it. If you are going to use those glitter shades, then I think for like $59 to get 16 shadows isn't that bad um, of a price point for them and for them being something different. Like I think they played it safe with some of their colors in there, which I appreciate because you can do that nice look with the star being that glitter. Um, so like I kind of wish that like 
they came up with the glitter pun instead of pretty rich uh, for the name of this tile line, right? Like, but like, I think it's nice. It's cute. Your packaging is going to get scuffed. Oh no. Um, but like, Overall, like I think if you are looking for those glittery shades, then this palette's kind of worth to pick up because it's something kind of new in there. And I do think the glittery shades, if we see, like you're giving kind of a variety because you have that like champagne-y kind of shimmer, a pink, a gold, and then like a silver, right? Kind of that hollow um, glitter in it that you could put on your eyes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.